All right. Let me go back to our Word document and see what all we did. We have done up to screenshots. And now let's talk about the Cypress dashboard, which I'm keep on saying from last few lectures. So somehow there are a few topics left and it's stopping me to start this topic. This is really interesting that you can actually trigger all your tests and see the execution of how they were performing. So let me first take to the official website of Cypress and read out the documentation of what they were saying. Cypress dashboard. Okay, so this is the actual dashboard login URL, but right now we don't need that. Um, Cypress dashboard. Docs. Right. So this is a service that gives you access to the recorded tests. So when you actually trigger all your test cases, you can see the execution results in your dashboard. And at the same time, you can see the recording of your each and every test, like how did they perform execution? Everything will be recorded. And you will also have the reporting like what all you run, how many pass, how many fail, in how many machines it ran. Everything was detailedly provided in the Cypress dashboard. Okay, you can read it here. It allows you to see number of failed tests, pass tests, and get entire stack trace, which is nothing but logs of your failed test. And you can watch a video. There are a lot of things here which you can do. Okay, so now let's try to understand this dashboard. But one challenge here. You have test runner and you are running your test from your local. Isn't it? How dashboard, basically dashboard is nothing but a cloud server. You need to log in into your dashboard and then you can see your results there. But million dollar question here is, when you run your tests in local, how will your dashboard which is in cloud server will come to know? And how will it report your local execution results at that link is our question. And at the same time, how it records. So you should have some connection, right? For your dashboard website and for your local test. Then only it, they can form a connection and report all your execution into that portal. So let's start from the basics to understand how to connect it. Um, firstly, come to your test runner. And if you go to runs, look at here. If you want to know your previous execution results, you can look at in this tab, but it's asking us to log into dashboard. Okay, just follow me. You will understand everything by end of this lecture. So basically, this complete Cypress dashboard is tightly integrated with GitHub and Google. If you have GitHub credentials, you can directly log in with those to log in into this dashboard. You need not create separate credentials. Even if you have your Google account, you can use that to log into your dashboard. So right now I have a GitHub account, so I will use that for login. So for your case, just try to have an account or you can use single sign on, but I would prefer you to have one GitHub or Google. So come to the run tab and then ask to log into dashboard it will prompt you to this page right and next login with github so github is already logged in in one of my tab so that cookies are already there so cypress have used that cookies and it reported me that you have successfully logged in into cypress dashboard now come back and you see that ui got changed so you have logged in into that dashboard from your runner, right? So this test runner got an idea like where you are exactly your dashboard is located because you logged in from here. After clicking a button, it pops up your screen and you logged in. So this test runner have intelligence to understand where exactly your dashboard is located. Okay, let's set up a new project. So you have to set up a project and run that project. So set up a new project, select the name of your project. Let's say Cypress automation. Who should own this project? 
for now it's us we were not doing this for any company and who should see runs and recordings basically whoever have access to your dashboard can see all the runs right because dashboard is one portal where all your local runs are posted there if someone have access to your dashboard they can just log in and see it so that's one way and another way is that you can just give link of your dashboard so that anyone can view if you put private they can only see if they log in but if you put public you can get your results in dashboard and just post in linkedin saying hey you know what i have created one cypress framework a project like this and i have run some 20 test cases if you want to know how good i did check out my dashboard link basically it's like google drive link that we share google drive links right by putting access public so that anyone can view like google photos or google drive something like this everyone can view your project and see the best work whatever you did but if you think that it's a private make sure that no one have access by having this private checked in of course if they have your credentials obviously they can log in and see even if it's private or public but we will never share so don't worry about it it's up to you what you select and say set up project so this test runner have set up one basic project for us and it automatically sets project id parameter in our cypress.json file if you go back to our cypress.json file you see that this project id is automatically concatenated okay so what is this project id this project id uniquely identify your project okay so when you run this whole tests from your local this project id is passed to you cypress servers and cypress server will give this project id to your specific dashboard so that's how it flows will go just remember that you have to get this project id and don't worry it will automatically place nice now you can run your command in your local so automatically this is the key look at here if you want to record your test cases you have to add another parameter called record just like how we have a spec env and uh, we have some properties right headed all these are different properties for your commands similarly there is one more property called record and this is the key so this key is also stored in your cypress dashboard so when you run your test cases this key will match with that dashboard and all your recording will be rerouted to your dashboard and it will report there so ideally you need two values if you want to connect to your dashboard which is hosted on the cloud one is project id one is record key these two parameters are automatically generated when you create your project here so first you have to come and create project so that all these are created and this it's automatically placed there now if you want to run your test cases just go to your command uh, right so now when you hit this command it will run all the tests present in this integration folder and it as you also passed key it will go and check for which dashboard these are connected and your results also will get start in dashboard let's see that hit and enter um we did somewhere provided wrong command yes of course so cypress run should be like this right you have to provide it from here isn't it your cypress.exe file is stored in dot bin folder here you trying to provide directly and it failed so you have to be at this path node modules dot bin cypress here is where your actual cypress is located and all the commands paste it here so you can remove this cypress run when you provide a word called cypress it has to be from node modules dot bin then only your system identifies the cypress all right so it will start execution you can go to your test runner and 
go to the runs you will see a test getting started executing very soon you see that execution started so you can see your execution in two places one in your test runner but this does not give a wow feeling so click on this link and now it will redirect you to the cypress dashboard automatically login with github whatever credentials you have given look at here your test execution have started now and this is your dashboard how these are connected these are just connected with two parameters project id and record key so whatever credentials you gave for login automatically cypress test runner will be aware of it and it will give you the record key and project id if you pass them it test runner duty is to reroute all your execution to the your test dashboard so don't worry about how to reach this url just click on your runs and it will take you to that specific page automatically okay follow this video and try to do by yourself then you will get some confidence so right now execution is going on first test is passed and it will take care of running each and every test and finally once all tests are run it gives you a report like how many pass how many fail and everything in this dashboard you can see here the branch author and what is the commit and duration of your test runs at what time it started and what operating system what browser what version everything is detailedly given here so once your test execution is done you can actually get the logs of that test by selecting this output you will see the same logs like what you see when you run from your local like how many pass how many fail and everything is properly documented here if something fails then you will see that value as well and at the same time video there is an option called video select this and you will see the execution of how your test have performed in the video like this okay it's trying to go rahulshettyacademy.com slash selenium practice look at here it loaded the page and it searched for ca and four results are displayed and that's what we were waiting for perfect test execution is done everything is recorded that's beauty right this is what we need we all bang our heads by seeing failed test cases when we run our tests in bulk and we never know why those are failing and if you want to implement recording then you have to come up with lot of coding if you work with selenium protractor or any other automation tool but from cypress you need not worry anything about it make sure you integrate your whole project with the dashboard by creating a project id and passing that record key which will automatically generate from your test runner and that's it you run it and by clicking on this run you will be prompted to dashboard page and you will see all the recordings and if the test is failed you will also have a screenshot here right now screenshot is not coming because everything looks good and then if something fail you can see the screenshot and at the same time you will have the logs of each and every test here and also the video and once the whole test is done you will see the results how many spec how many failures everything looks good right so this is how you can impress your client actually integrate your right and develop one poc on cypress create two or three test cases and then integrate this to dashboard and just show him how best this is delivering the results okay so we will continue our discussion in next lecture by then you will see this execution will be done and we can talk more about this all right thank you